Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 14th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Complicated weather pattern at the surface with a series of low pressure areas and cold fronts that are moving through the southeastern United States. And those are creating some rain situations for much of central Alabama in the upper atmosphere. We've been watching uh, a rather deep trough off to our west, and uh, that's kind of coming out in two pieces. You can see one of the pieces over the central Mississippi River Valley and then one piece hanging back over uh, extreme west Texas. At the surface, temperatures are rather chilly across the northern tier of the United States, uh, minus 13 up there in northern Maine, and then uh, some uh, minus single-digit values across parts of uh, North Dakota as well as uh, parts of uh, Minnesota. So it's uh, rather chilly. Not quite that cold in central Alabama as temperatures are generally uh, around the 50 degree mark in central Alabama and in the 40s in the Tennessee River Valley. Looks like we will probably see highs climb in the mid and upper 50s for the highs today, but it's going to stay cloudy and rainy this morning for most locations. And the rain should, the bulk of the rain anyway, should be out of uh, central Alabama by uh, very late morning or noontime. And uh, then during the afternoon with the clouds, looks like we'll stay with a situation with uh, some light drizzle and or patchy uh, light rain occurring from time to time. But the measure most of the measurable rain should be out of the area by late morning. The storm system is creating some uh, winter weather advisories all the way from Missouri all the way up into New England. That's all that purple and reddish areas or pinkish areas that you see on the map. Uh, the uh, gray down in Texas is uh, some dense fog advisories. QPF-wise, much of the rain is coming this morning and uh, probably on the order of a quarter of an inch for most locations, maybe as much as a half inch uh, before the rain ends, especially over the east-central part of the state. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk for the severe potential down across parts of the Florida panhandle and extreme southwestern uh, Georgia, as well as a little sliver of southeastern Alabama. Uh, the uh, 06Z GFS model run. And there's a look at our weather pattern for today in the upper atmosphere at 500 millibars. And uh, we can see the kind of the double barrel piece of energy coming through, one coming through the Ohio River Valley and a second one coming out of Texas. And that should keep things fairly wet for this morning. But again, we should dry out by afternoon for most locations, but with patchy drizzle or light rain a possibility. By uh, this evening at uh, 6 p.m., it looks like the bulk of the rain is well east of central Alabama. And again, because the clouds stick around, we may see some uh, light uh, rain or, or patchy rain or drizzle. By Sunday, midday, it looks like we've dried out. You can see the thickness is uh, dropping as we get under a northwesterly flow pattern as the trough uh, moves by. So it looks like we're going to dry out nicely as we head into Monday. Uh, the trough has moved by and we're under a northwesterly flow, so it's going to be uh, kind of a chilly time. We stay under that northwesterly flow pattern through Tuesday, so once again it's going to be kind of uh, coolish. You see the 540 line coming all the way down into Kentucky. So uh, it's going to stay uh, fairly seasonable, really. Uh, we, we'll we uh, have a, a rather cool morning probably on uh, Monday and Tuesday morning, but then we should see as the pattern uh, does come under more of a ridge by uh, late Wednesday and into Thursday. Uh, there's the pattern for Wednesday, and uh, we can see that we're coming under a ridge as the main trough moves by, and uh, that will also come under a surface high pressure by Wednesday. So uh, once again, temperatures moderating a little bit, but don't look for any real heat. Uh, we'll probably, by the end of the week, be approaching 60 degrees for the highs. Thursday, uh, we begin to see the pattern shift once again in, in preparation for the next system, and we get under a southwesterly flow pattern, so that should allow us to warm up. And then by Friday, we can see that the the trough off to our west is really digging in, going all the way down into northern Mexico, and uh, that's pumping up the ridge over the east coast of the United States. And we have kind of a double barrel situation. We've got the, the one trough uh, 
over central Canada, and then we've got the other trough that's uh, over Baja, California, and uh, they're they're not quite in phase. It looks like they're going to get out of phase, but uh, that should keep us under high pressure for uh, Friday and probably dry as moisture returns off to our west. The uh, timing of the next system is still somewhat in question as the models have been somewhat inconsistent in exactly uh, the timing, but it looks like Saturday uh, that uh, trough over uh, northern Cal uh, northern uh, Mexico begins to come uh, our way, and that should create quite a wet day for the lower Mississippi River Valley for Saturday, and probably we'll start the day out dry, but uh, it looks like probably have uh, rain for uh, Saturday a week from today. Going out into voodoo country and uh, looking at what everybody's interested in for the weather for the December 25th, Christmas Day, looks like we see a trough over the central part of the country, but uh, not... Um, not especially a deep trough, but that would keep temperatures uh, across central Alabama uh, coolish, uh, probably highs in the 50s and lows uh, around freezing or so, as well as keep us dry. As we head out to the latter part of December and the, the last parts of 2013, we see that the pattern goes uh, zonal. And as it does that, that should uh, allow us to be somewhat mild for temperatures. And uh, with most of the traveling weather systems a little further to the north, we'll probably see a relatively dry period. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Saturday and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.